Hello and welcome to me, Dave. I'm back at the Shropshire Golf Centre in a bit of a rush because I've got people behind me. So we'll do a bit more of an introduction a bit later. Let's see if we can get a ball away. Now I've not hit a ball for almost two weeks, so do forgive me if it goes a bit, a bit wrong. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's do it. All right, so we're on uh, winter roll, so I need to pick the ball up, give it a clean. And then pop the ball back, and then we're good to go. Now I have got people behind me, so I've got to try and hit this well, so that Here we go, let's see if we can hit this. Yeah, that went really well. Okay, that was a good shot. Let's carry on. Right next to a bunker, we've done all right. Didn't go in the bunker, which is a bonus. So now we're gonna try and do a eight iron bump and run up to the flag. Beautiful. Oh, I'm very pleased with that one. <laughs> that was nice. Let's go do some putting. Okay. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. So all being well, if we can get this in the hole, it's a par. There we are. Happy days. Let's move on to the next. Welcome to hole two. That was a good first hole. Hopefully we can carry on with that. Um, I'm knackered, I'm having to rush because there's people behind me, so, and I don't really want to get caught up with that lot, so, uh, I'm sure they're friendly, but, uh, right, let's see if we can do like we did on the first hole. Oh, that's not good. No, that's okay, it's safe. The reason why I said that's not good is there's a pond over that side, so, uh, right. Let's go get it. All right, here we are. So the, the pond is just a few feet that way. So I did well avoiding it really. Nice wide open angle to the hole. So let's see if we can get a hybrid down there. Here we go. Oh no. We're going in the trees. Oh, I'm going to hit another ball just in case. So I'm going to drop there. I'll hit another ball just in case I can't find that first one. So let's try it again. Much better. Okay, so that's nice and in the center. That was a good strike, similar like the first one. Let's see if I can find it. All right, so I'm in the woods trying to find this ball. Now the problem is it came round I'm not sure if it hit a tree, but there's so many leaves on the floor. If it gets under one of those, then you've kind of lost it. And I don't want to delay the people behind me. So I think I'm going to call that one lost and take the provisional. Here we are. This is the provisional ball, just a smidge less than 150 yards to go to the flag. So let's see if we can get it somewhere nearby. Well, it's got up there and we're just on the other side of the hazard. So chip onto the green, lovely. Right, so here we are, we're quite fortunate, didn't end up in the bunker. Um, it was a nice strike actually on the ball, but now I'm left with a shot I don't really like to do. So I've got to try and get it up over that hill. And I'm not too confident with these, to be honest. So let's see if we can get it up there. Oh no, didn't quite get it enough. It's rolling back down to me. Hello, ball. Let's try that again. Let's get you up there. Okay, it's up and over the hill. Wasn't the best strike in the world, but it got me where I wanted to be. 
So uh, we'll take that as a win. All right, so as we're walking up to this wall, um, it bounced well over the hill, got me onto the putting surface. Um, honestly, don't know how well this is going to go. Uh, I need to mark and clean my ball. So let's do that. Give it a mark. Let's give it a clean, get all the crud off it. Winter rules, by the way, means you can pick up, clean and replace um, anywhere on the course. Uh, unlike in the summer, which you can't do that. So, right. Let's see if we can shorten this gap a little bit. Oh, I don't know, I haven't, haven't played for a while. My feet are absolutely killing me. Hey, that's not a bad putt. That was all right. Okay, only a little bit of work to do. Let's not mess it up. There we go. Another hole done. Let's get on to the next. Here we go, uh, hole three. Um, it's a par three. I've got a nine iron out, although I might actually swap it to a pitching wedge. So the reason why I'm swapping to a pitching wedge is because the flag is quite close to the front of the green. And if I actually hit the ball right, um, I'll go flying over the green. So let's see if we can do this with a pitching wedge. Oh, that was a beautiful strike. And I still, <laughs> I still hit it too far. It's on the back edge of the green. Wow. Okay, so I'm glad that I didn't use the nine iron because you can see how far back I am from where I was, which is absolutely ridiculous. And to be honest, that nine iron would have taken it right over the back of the green. So I'm obviously hitting, I hit that pitching wedge nice and pure. Um, so maybe, you know, if I'm going to continue to strike irons that way, I might look at dropping that down to a, a different wedge. You know, maybe a 56 degree pitching wedge, not pitching wedge, a sand wedge, lob wedge, that kind of thing. So we're going for par now. So if we can get this right, then we'll get a par, which will be the second one. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No par for this hole. But that's okay. We'll take a bogey. Right, let's go on to the next. Hey, welcome to uh, hole four. We've been here before, so we kind of know what to expect. Um, trees to the right, big mound of trees and a pond to the left. So we've got to be nice and careful with this one. I know about whereabouts I want to go. And judging by my recent shot type, this should be somewhere in the center. No, it's not somewhere in the center. It is, oh, right next to that tree. Okay, I think I can find that one. Let's go get it. Right, here we are, nice and in the open. I don't want to do anything drastic here. I just want to knock it out um, of the rough, just down the fairway a bit. So we'll try and give this a bit of a, I think I can live with that. I should be able to get a good shot on from there. So, on to the next. So here we are, having just been in the trees. Um, I'm gonna go with a seven iron. The 150 yard mark is just there. So I'm gonna try and hit a good solid, good solid seven iron and see if we can get it somewhere near to where we want it to be. Not quite. I got more ground than ball there. It should have been more ball than ground, but not to worry. We can work with that. Okay, here we are. So, can't really do anything drastic here. So I'm taking a 56 degree wedge. And we're gonna give it, give it not too many beans, some beans, not too many beans. On the green, beautiful. Right, let's get some putting done. 
Okay, now we've got to avoid the goose poo. There's goose poo on the green, <laughs> not to worry. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been, I've been working on my irons um, at the driving range. And honestly, I think it's definitely made an improvement to my game on the course because I seem to be, you know, hitting more balls quite well than not at the moment. So, which is a Billy bonus. Right, on to my nemesis hole for the 30 shot challenge. The one I've never got past. So let's go and attack it and see if we can make something good out of it. All right, welcome to hole five. Um, as I said, this is my nemesis hole from the 30 shot challenge. Let's see if we can get one away decently and uh, have a bit of fun with it. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I can work with that. It's a bit of a bit of a crappy place to be honest, but I can work with that. Happy days, driver's going all right today. Here we are. Uh, I don't know if I should go for the hero shot or not. I'm not going to go for the hero shot. I'm definitely not. The green is behind that green bush just there. Um, I'm going to try and knock it over to the, the left a little bit because I want to be able to see what's going on. Oh, I wish I could take that hero shot. That'd be amazing. Well, that wasn't the best. <laughs> oh, well, we'll work with it. Let's go. Now I can see the flag. I'm going for the hero shot. Now, the problem I've got is there is water right in front of the green. So if I don't hit this properly, I'm going to lose that ball in the water. So let's see if we can get this nice and pure. No, I only just narrowly missed the water right in front of me. <laughs> All right, let's move on, do it again. Okay, let's see what we can do with this one. I'm safe. Oh my God, if only you could see where that landed. Let's go get it. <laughs> right, so here's the water hazard right in front of the green. So there's the green there. All right. We're going to walk on around, around the green. Keep going, keep going. There's the flag. And then somewhere around here should be my ball. I saw, there it is. There it is, completely cleared the water hazard. What a Billy bonus. What an absolute Billy bonus. Let's drop that there. All right. So 56 degree. Now we do need to clean the ball. Oh, I've got a wet knee now. I'm going to clean it on the grass. Before I clean it on my trousers and my glove. Right. So we've got our 56 degree and we're just going to try and chip it onto the green. Not exactly where I wanted it on the green, but it's on the green. So <laughs> a win's a win. Okay, time for some putting. Obviously, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on my videos because it helps me make the most of the YouTube platform. And we've got a bit of a surprise coming in the new year, hopefully. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Just make sure you keep watching and uh, you'll see what's coming up in the new year. I'm really quite looking forward to it. Boom, get in that hole, two putts. Two putts are okay. I don't mind two putts. On to the next. Nemesis hole complete. Welcome to hole six. Uh, fairly simple hole. Nice and straight, flag, perfectly in line with the camera. Oh, sweating, too much rushing. I need to slow down a bit. Right. 
let's see if we can get this one going. Yeah, that's okay. I can live with that. Okay, 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 okay. Happy. Right, let's go find it. Right, here we are, just to the uh, right hand side of the fairway, just before the 150 marker. So we're going to attempt an eight iron onto the green. Okay. So I think I want to be about there. Here we go. No, topped the living crap out of it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> we'll try not to top the living crap out of it this time. Here we go. Much better. I think I'm in a bunker, which isn't too bad if it's the first bunker of the day, but it was a much better shot than the first one. Right, here we are in the bunker. I'm not a fan of these shots. I always get very nervous when I try and do these. So let's see if we can get this out of the bunker in one. Oh yeah, we got it out, but we blasted it all the way across the other side of the green. But I'm not in a bunker, so I guess it's a, a win of sorts. Okay, here we are. Same club. I didn't really want to go back to the bag to get another club. So we're going to try and knock this in closer to the hole using the 60 degree wedge. And actually, although it was a very poor strike, the roll on it's really good. Let's go do some putting. Here we are. Do a little bit of putting. See if we can get this closer to the hole. And we did. So this is what, a two put. I mean, it was a poor bunker shot. Well, no, it was a good bunker shot because I got out of the bunker. But it was poor in the fact that it went across the side of the green and caused me some more shots. But hey, golf is hard. All right then, here we are, hole seven. Let's see what we can do with hole seven. So, as you know, I've been working on irons. I haven't really been working on driver. So I am going to start working on driver at the driving range to see if I can fix it, because it's not quite right. Oh dear, that went really high and left. That was um, in, an interesting, <laughs> interesting shot. Uh, I know where it is, that's not my tee, but it's a good tee, so I'll use that one. Um, let's go find it. Found the ball, not quite in the trees this time, so that's good. I'm gonna try and progress this up the fairway. It didn't quite progress it to where I wanted it to, but I think it's safe in front of that holly bush. So we're playing left to right golf at the moment. All right, here we are. Very filthy ball, but we're just going to try and knock it out onto the fairway up there a little bit. I'm not going for the green because that would just be very silly. Okay, that'll do. We're out. Let's go hit the ball again. We're not in the best position from where we were, but um, we might be able to get it somewhere near the green. So let's give it a go. Ah, straight into a bunker. Oh, do I love bunkers. <laughs> Let's go do it. Here we are in the bunker. Gonna try and now get this thing out of here. In one shot. No. <laughs> Let's try again. Try again. Nope, straight underneath it. Third attempt. We're out. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Let's get it. Let's get it a little bit closer to the hole, shall we? 
Let's see if we can at least achieve that. Okay, that was a lovely shot. That was very nice. It made up for the, uh, the three attempts at getting out of the bunker. So I'm starting to lose my energy now, which I think is probably why shots might be going a little bit awry. So let's just see how we go on for the next two holes. And then, ooh, just off. And then uh, we'll work out what's going on from there. There we go. Jobs are good and on to the next. Here we are, hole eight. Uh, it's 183 yard par three. So yes, we're getting the hybrid out. And we're gonna see if we can get it up there. So let's see what we can achieve. Nope, absolutely give it a good old topping. Yeah, may as well have been decorating a Christmas cake. <laughs> right, let's get on, let's go find it. Here we are, not too far away from the tee box. About to take our second shot on this par three. Eight iron. No, we caught the top end of it again and it didn't go very far. So this is how I can tell I, you know, I'm getting tired due to this uh, condition of mine. So there's no way I could play 18 holes, but uh, you know what? I still enjoy being outside anyway. So uh, let's crack on and hit it again. Third shot. Nope, top that one again. But we're not in a bunker, so that's okay. So three tops, top, 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 top hat, blue, sir. Let's crack on. All right, here we are. So now we're gonna try an eight iron bump and run. Hopefully I don't top this one. <laughs> we'll see. There, beautiful. That'll do. It didn't quite go as far as I wanted, but it was a better shot. Let's go and put it. So we're not quite on the green yet. That's fine. I think if we take any other club, it's probably going to go wrong at the moment, but that's not a problem. The good thing about golf is you can hit the ball as many times as you like. That was a nice putt. That was a very nice putt. Oh my God. If only I hadn't topped all those balls, that could have been a really, really good hole. Right, on to hole nine. All right, welcome to hole nine. Last one of the day before I go home and curl up in a ball. Right, let's see what we can do with this. So driver, part of that last one had been okay all day, hadn't it? So let's see if we can make good this shot. It's okay-ish. Oh, maybe that's not okay. I heard it hit some trees. Okay, I'm gonna hit provisional just in case. Original ball. Better. Okay, I know where that one is. Right, let's go see if I can find the first one. A bit of a lucky bounce, I don't know if you can see, but I've got that provisional ball over there. And we had a lucky bounce off the tree and we're here. So that is an absolute bonus that I don't have to go hunting around the trees for a ball. So let's see if we can get it up the way. Here we go. Yes, we're going with the hybrid again. Probably a bad idea, but we're gonna try. Think about your swing, think about your swing. Okay, we're gonna interrupt with some trees. That's okay. Let's do this. Oh no! <laughs> 
maybe the interacting with the trees was a bad idea. So let's go and move it over here. There it is. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's see if we can do something better with this. We're going to go short club this time. I'm going to do like a putting stroke to get it out. Okay, that's in the clear. We're out, we're out from the trees, so let's go and hit it properly. Here we are. Third shot. And I think we've just gone out of bounds. So that's fun. Let's go see if we can get it. <laughs> just coming up on the out of bounds to find the ball. And I'm so lucky because I reckon there's the out of bounds post. Um, is it out of bounds? I think that is actually out of bounds. Um, if they were to put a piece of string between that post and that post, my ball would be in the out of bounds side. However, I'm going to class it as the long grass is the out of bounds boundary and I'm going to hit the ball. <laughs> so, don't care what anybody says, I'm on my own, I'm not in a competition. While I do try and follow the rules, sometimes, you know, why not? Why not? Right, we're out. Okay, it seems those shots are working quite well, but all of the others have kind of blown away in the wind. But um, let's continue. Okay, there we are. I don't even know my left and right at the moment. Oh well, let's go find it. It's the last hole, may as well enjoy every shot. Here we are, hopefully the last shot onto the green. Let's see what happens. We're on, finally, <laughs> we're on the green. Let's go and put it. Hopefully you can see from you know, just watching this video, just how the post-COVID syndrome affects me and my energy levels and how, you know, I just get, I get tired really quickly and it's not a gradual tiredness. It's an almost instantaneous tiredness. And then I find it very difficult to think, uh, talk, play golf, drive, concentrate on things, have a conversation with somebody. It's really, really difficult. So... I do appreciate you watching the video and learning a bit more about me, my golf and my condition. And um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because um, it helps me make the most of the YouTube platform and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.